welcome back to Reviews and Wheels. Today we're inside the Suzuki Swift 1.2 GLX. So, let's go. <laughs> first things first, I really love it. I, I'm in love with it. I'm in love with the color. It has this awesome color. It's, it's very, very, very stunning. Um, so quick facts about the car. It has 61 kilowatts of power, 130 newton meters of torque, right? So looking at the, those numbers, you might not think that it's quick, but it does the job, you get me? It does the job. It has a five-speed five, five speed manual, five-speed manual, and you know, once you change gear, obviously the car, you can feel good to the eye. It's soft, it's manandi, you feel me? So, and then um, it has automatic climate control, um, unfortunately, it does not have LED uh, lights, so it's just normal lights. Um, this car has four cylinders and it's priced from 184,000 Rand. But like, that's like the entry level Suzuki Swift, you see. So, I am in the 1.2 petrol engine. Yeah, this is the petrol engine. And getting into the theories of the review, right? Obviously, when, I, when this car came, I fell in love with it because of the two-toned color. So, it is red and the top is black and the mirrors are also black and they are folding mirrors. So, yeah, it does the job. And I should also mention the wheels and the rims. Oh my days! What? Absolutely stunning. Absolutely like, oh my gosh. I don't even wanna lie to you, nah. but like, I love this car so much. So, in the interior, the interior is like, ah, oh, okay, the interior, nah. The interior is not that bad. I love the infotainment system because the sound system, oh, let me let you guys listen to it. You know, it's standard this side. So anyways, um, out of all the cars that I have reviewed, like from the Kia to the Renault to this, I must say this is one of the best sound systems that I have been in for such a low budget car. I mean, Suzuki, oh my word. So another thing I should say, the fuel economy, it's claimed 4.9, but I've been averaging 5.3 liters per 100 kilometers so but like earlier when i went to no northwest with it i was averaging 5.8 but obviously we know why i was averaging 5.8 so yeah uh overall verdict for this car beautiful 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 i kairata i love it you know Yeah, you know, just gotta greet the people, fam. Just gotta greet the people. Anyways, so um, the interior it has a 5.4 touch screen with Android Auto and uh, Apple CarPlay. So there's one thing that I don't like about this infotainment system, right? This infotainment system, you only can connect with the uh, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. With Bluetooth, it's just for answering calls and etc which i don't know man sometimes i have to like wanna plug it in even though i know that my phone is full but like to play music i have to plug in my phone and sometimes it's just like come on man can't i just play with bluetooth but like there was a point where it did allow but like for a couple of seconds so i don't know if i'm the only one who was struggling with that but personally i do not like that nah 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 and then the seats, ooh, ooh, ooh. quality, quality seats, quality seats, um, they almost like bucket seats, you get me, almost bucket seats because they hug you, they, they, they hug you, they hug you, 
That's one thing that I know is that they hug you and very comfortable I must say absolutely comfortable as I said I went from here from Pretoria to North West and there was no struggles the only thing that I wish this car had was a sixth gear because once you're on like 100 110 120 the rev count also goes high and the, the car has this noise so if it had 6th gear it would be perfect 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 so uh, the spaciousness in the car right spaciousness in the car it's very spacious yeah well, it's a hatch it's a hot hatch I wouldn't say hot hatch but like perfect car for day to day usage get me uh, the rear seats here at the back are 60-40 split and they fold so yeah quality quality because if there's no space in the boot you can just you know drop one seat and then two stay up or you can drop two seats and one stays up or you could just drop all of them and everything is down you get me um what else can i say about the suzuki swift oh here's another one exactly the same color just that it's not two toned you get me so with regards to the steering wheel this model only comes with uh controls on the left side which actually controls the infotainment system like the volume up volume down you know voice command let me do the voice command and calling and ending calls it's like just here at the bottom i'll just put the picture there for you guys um the instrument cluster is analog so yeah you can see your rev counts um, it shows you your range how much kilometers you're ranging it shows kilometers per liters per liter and how much you're averaging as well and yeah what i like about this is that it's it's bars it's bars so you can see when what one bar is gonna finish and you can actually estimate how many kilometers you can travel like right now i'm left with three bars and 150 kilometers that is my range that is my range so i like that and this car to fill up it's actually it's not that bad it's 700 750 no it all depends on how you drive as a person and how empty it was you know i once let it get to the yellow light where it shows me that you need to refill now and i put 700 or 800 and then it lasted me until like today and i put that i think sunday if i'm not mistaken so yeah that is that is what I like about this car. It is fuel efficient, I must say. Don't get me wrong. Very fuel efficient. Um, okay, can go in now. Very fuel efficient. And then another thing that I must say about this car that it handles, handles, it handles very well, very well. So okay, now I'm gonna talk about the things that I like and the things that I don't like about the car, right? So. What I like about this car is that it's smooth, you know, very smooth. Oh, I forgot to mention that it has a push to start engine. I feel like most cars in like this generation have a push to start um, button. There's no more ignitions and etc. So this car has that. So what I like about the car is that it has the push to start button it has well i like how it feels inside you understand i like how the car feels inside i like the sound system oh whoa 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 suzuki did a maza here guys oh my word suzuki did a maza here um another thing that i like is actually the rear end oh man the rear end with the lights on man trust me this car is beautiful so that's what i like about the car right i also like how the steering feels as well one thing that i don't like about the car though is that from gear one to two the gear the gear lags like so so much it lags so much to the fact that 
when you even on gear one, you just wanna change to gear two. You understand? Like immediately. You don't wanna give it a chance. But this car is very quick. Let me just give you a test drive. Very, very. So now you can hear. Okay, now gear four. You know that was smooth. That was smooth. You understand? And now I'm on like 80 kilometers. 80. Going to 100 now. You understand? So yeah, it is quick. It is quick. That's the job. Really really beautiful so another thing that I don't like about the car is that it has those normal lights you know I feel like most cars should come with LED lights now guys I mean like we're in a different generation understand me but it's not a train smash it's not a train smash so what I buy this car what I recommended and what I considered yeah perfect like even the price is so reasonable 184,000 Wow Suzuki Man For such a car And it suits me I mean Look at me I'm like Oh man I'm, I'm relaxed in the car No worries Nothing You know System Automatic Climate control You know Even now it's on But like The car is not Does not feel heavy At all Like whatsoever So Yes I would buy it I would consider it I've actually considered it To a couple of my friends who have actually been passengers in the car, right? And would I recommend it to somebody? Definitely, man. I would recommend it to a student, first time car buyer. Um, I recommend it to even person who's trying to downgrade to like a fuel efficient car. I would recommend the Suzuki Swift because it does the job. It gets you from point A to B. With no hassle. So this has been the Suzuki Swift 1.2 GLX, and it is your boy Saucy Wolf, and I'm signing out until the next time. So please do like, comment, share, and subscribe. Remember, guys, the more you guys do that, this the more I get these calls and give you guys reviews so you can enjoy and make the correct decision on what car to get and what to avoid you understand so that is love from me i love you guys bye